Mr. Justice Amo. Good evening. Uh, this is www.ghanainfrance.com, a website specially created for the Ghanaian community here in France. We are very happy to have you, a Ghanaian in France, with this international trophy for quality. Can you please tell us what this trophy is all about? Thank you. Um, this trophy was initiated by a group called Global Trade Leadership Club and uh, they are based in Spain and uh, what they do is um, they look at the well-performing industries, companies, corporate businesses and then give them awards. And, uh, their operation is very, very genuine and very, very competitive. An award winner doesn't have any link with this trade leaders club. They do their own investigation about performing businesses across the globe. And they do their own valuation, assessment, and then recommend the deserving award winners. And that's how come Jasmo got this award. Wow. Su su super. Now, what, what we Ghana in France.com, uh, we always see people like you, we call you Black Star. Thank you. Uh, we, 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 black stars like you, we, 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 we are proud and honored to have you on our, on our TV. With you, you, with you, we can give morale to the up and coming youth so they can also follow your steps and make Ghana the best place we all want. Thank so, you. what exactly does your company do? Okay. If you mention just more construction limited, our core business is road construction. And we undertake all sorts of road projects. In Ghana we have various types of roads. We have surface dressing, we have asphaltic concrete roads, we have concrete paving roads, we have um, feeder roads, etc. And just more construction does all these kinds of roads. And um, we are major in roads. We also do building construction for private companies and also government projects. JASMO also has given birth to a group of companies who also undertake various projects. We have a quarry section who deals with the um, production of concrete products. We are also into production of asphalt and um, we are also into production of um, processing raw bitumen into bitumen emulsion for road works. We are also into production of ready mixed concrete for building projects and road projects. JASMO Group is also into block manufacturing for 
heavy duty areas. Wow. Like harbors, highways, wow. workshops, and container yards. So basically, if you mention of Jasmo, these are the line of operations. Wow. This is this is huge. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> are you are you how 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 are you so you, you are the CEO of all this? Yes. So how, the, how, how how do you make time for all this? <laughs> Thank you. I'm the chief executive and also the chairman of the Jasmo Group. Wow. And uh, as you may know, each of the groups or the section mm -hmm. has the management team mm -hmm. comprising of the director, the project managers, mm -hmm. the financial controllers. Mm -hmm. Each section is independent mm -hmm. on itself. Mm -hmm. And that is how come I'm able to manage. So at the end of the day, they report to you. Exactly. Oh, na 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 na, sir. That no. is the heads report mm. to me. Okay. Yeah. No, normally they say it is only when your head is big that you can take a lot of things like that into it. But uh, looking at you, you have a very small head, but yeah. you you still you you you, you, you they, you've proven all this talk wrong. Anyway, that Thank that is you. that that yeah. is just by the way. Mm -hmm. Um. How? And why and when did you start this company? If you ask me how, I will say I develop interest in construction or let's say technical mm -hmm. during my childhood and uh, when I grew up I didn't switch from it. I still pursue it. So I did technical in my early education and also polytechnic education. And uh, my interest has been there. And also, if you ask me why, I also felt that I should be able to also do something on my own, improve upon it, make it more attractive also for people with the same line of thinking, same line of ideas to join. So in the near future, we can also reduce the burden of the government in terms of employment. No blessing. Mm -hmm. So that is how come mm -hmm. I chose that profession. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then when? Yeah. When is February 1991. That is when I registered Just More Construction Limited ah. as a building construction firm. And the uh, Name Jasmo mm -hmm. comes from mm -hmm. my name Justice, Justice. Amo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank, 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 thank. We moved you. on mm -hmm. also to add road construction mm -hmm. to it, and thankfully to God, as the years come to pass, we keep adding companies to it. Mm -hmm. That has brought us to this group. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see from the very first time I met you, no wonder your, your business is growing because you are so humble, you are so easy, as, assessed, and um, God will always be, 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 be with you. Thank, yeah. thank, thank you so much for this how, when, and uh, uh, wh why. Yeah. yeah, answer. We I yeah. really appreciate it. Now, um, Ghana. Oh, na Ghana, 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 Ghana. 
how, how friendly is the economical environment in Ghana to businesses like yours? Thank you. I want to say that there's a saying that nowhere could. If we want to continue to say it is difficult, it's always going to be difficult. Because um, some of us who have gotten the chance to travel across the globe, we've come to understand and realize that it is difficult everywhere. For me, my answer to your question is Ghana is a very fertile place for businesses. Mm -hmm. Ghana has a very brighter future mm -hmm. in terms of business development mm -hmm. and much will depend upon the people's interest, their preparation, mm -hmm. preparedness to come and also their their uh, seriousness mm -hmm. and approach to every aspect of business. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have so many examples to prove that Ghana is a fertile place. Mm -hmm. Both local businesses and international business people who has proven seriousness mm -hmm. are always growing. Mm -hmm. You can't rule out a challenge or a difficulty in business because if it is so rousy then everybody will be a businessman. Mm -hmm. There are challenges in every business mm -hmm. but I can confidently tell you that Ghana businesses is booming and it's a very fertile place, environmentally friendly for serious and determined business people. Wow. Thank you. I'm, ha I'm happy to hear this. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll start getting prepared to also establish my business back home after hearing yeah, this, this, this from, from you. It you've, is the time now. Yeah, you've, you've really um, put some kind of um, uh, some vim in me. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah we, we are happy to have you in Paris. How, how do you find Paris? Uh, the, 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 the roads and the infrastructure you see around? Oh, Paris is a beautiful place. I'm always happy anytime I visit here. The layout, the structures, the road network, and the people around. It's a beautiful place. It's a place you can admire. Mm -hmm. And, uh, for you. me, mm -hmm. anytime I come, mm -hmm. I learn a bit of it mm -hmm. and carry it back home. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Uh, your, your, your eyes can see properly. Sure. Uh, sure. Nice one. We also enjoy Paris very well, but Great. we would love to also establish Great. something in Ghana so we can come to Ghana frequently. Huh? Wonderful. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Ghana is 60 years now. Yes. Looking at all the mineral resources and all Ghana is blessed with. Do you see Ghana in the next city years like Paris or like France? Yeah, I would say yes. Um, looking at um, Ghana now, some of us are not too old, but we can see a tremendous improvement. And where we are now, I always tell um, people around me, my friends, that the future is so bright because we have crossed the difficult bridge, mm -hmm. which is stability. Mm -hmm. Now African country can, like Ghana can go to election you, you realize before election you see brothers arguing, disagreeing. Mm -hmm. After election, the next day you see people eating together, mm -hmm. moving together mm -hmm. as if there hasn't been election. Wow. That has made 
a place so stable and environmentally friendly or attractive to more investors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also see that with good management, Ghana will get there. Of course, the growth or the pace is slow, but it's up to it all Ghanaians mm -hmm. to, to accelerate putting our quota, our contribution to make sure we get there. Mm -hmm. I always tell people that government alone cannot do it. Individuals should also do their best to put Ghana there. In terms of discipline, in terms of hard work, in terms of transparency, we will get there. Uh, I really enjoy your talks, you know. Thank you. Yeah, you give me more hope. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes we we hear things about Ghana, and it's kind of even though that's where we come from, we have more. We have more. We we love Ghana. Sometimes we hear certain things, and it keeps it a bit hopeless, you know. Yeah. But hearing um, people like you talk, it gives it back the hope. Yeah. That Ghana will one day um, get there. Get there. Sure. We, 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 we thank you so much. Yeah. I, 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 I always say that um, Ghana can never get where we want to be if we don't include Ghanaians in the diaspora. When we talk about the economy and all a country needs for it to grow. If we don't include the Ghanaians in the diaspora, then I don't think we can get there. Yeah. What is your advice to Ghanaians who live abroad? Thank you. My advice to my big brothers and sisters, my moms over there, is that home sweet home. Yeah. <laughs> Ghana is a place, and Ghana is safe. Ghana is stable. I think they should think about joining us to develop our nation. Whatever it is, however it may be, you are a Ghanaian and you are responsible for the success of your country. I believe that most of the people here has acquired so much experience, has gotten so much links in which, if they bring it to Ghana to support, you will go to another level. So, they should have in mind planning to come and support, planning to come and settle. Of course, it's not going to be easy, but they should gather courage. Because normally, if, 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 you are not used to a system and you come to join, you have little challenges, little setbacks. But it shouldn't scare any Ghanaian. It shouldn't deter them from coming to join. Nobody, nobody apart from Ghanaian will do it for us. We need to come together as one family, one people, and do it for ourselves for our children and for our great grandchildren, uh, for the sake of Mother Ghana. Uh, you are you are wonderful. Thank you have you. sweet words and very encouraging ones. I, I really I really lo lo love that. Yes. Now I'm talking about the Ghanaian youth. Yes. The up and yes. coming youth. They say Africa is the future. They say in fifth, in 2050, Africa will be the best place in yes. the world. What is your advice to the youth? Thank you. I always call myself a youth adult because of my size. <laughs> I can mingle with the youth mm -hmm. and I can also move on with my 
colleague. I can I can see that because yeah. uh, the way the way you mangled with us today, <laughs> yeah, I can you don't have to even say it. Yes. Yeah, I can I can. And I, can I say love it. the youth so mm. much. Mm. I like the Ghanaian youth so much. They are so intelligent, so smart. My advice to them is for them to open their eyes, for them to have the mindset that Ghana is the place. Mm -hmm. They need to prepare themselves well to be able to tap every opportunity that is coming up or that is available. If I talk of the region where I'm based, Western region, is an oil found region. We have a lot of expatriates trooping in with so many kind of professions. Oil and gas, welding, fabrication, all these things. I, I will be happy, I'll, I'll, I'll be so happy to see the youth training themselves, grooming themselves to take this opportunity. I strongly believe that if they are, they are skilled enough, there might not be too much need for the companies to bring expatriates to take their positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is my first advice to them. Secondly, also, I think um, all of us have been uh, youths before. All of us have been children before. And um, it's very important for us to also adopt a culture of discipline. Mm -hmm. At times, we choose the, the, the part of life which will be beneficial to us alone without looking at our next door neighbor, our brothers, our friends, our nation. I believe that if the youth are so disciplined, so determined and very serious, I think they will enjoy the fruit of Ghana because people come in today with empty hands and within a short time they are loaded wow and i believe that with our youth being so intelligent so smart they adopt a culture of hard working seriousness upgrading themselves i think there will be no need for them to cross border to look for greener pastures. Thank you. With, 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 with this words, uh, all I can say is thank you, and thank you, and thank you once again for accepting our invitation. This is www.ghanainfrance.com, a website that we've created for Ghanaians in France. You said something that really touched me, that gave me the courage to continue with this job. You said sometimes it is good not to think of yourself alone, yes. but think of what you can do to help others. Yes. That is all GhanaInfront.com is all about. We, we document everything happening in our community mm -hmm. so that a thousand years to come, a child will see and say that this is what our parents were doing here. This is the culture they left here. Let's hold it, keep it and move on with it. Thank you so much for having your Ghana and Thank you also so much for having time for me and the warm reception given to me. My brothers and sisters out there, I say may God bless you. May God continue to shower his blessings upon you, give you enough protections and then your businesses as well. We hope we will meet in Ghana one day, one time. Thank you so much. Thank you.